I'm Carol Reeves and I'm a senior lecturer in science and technology studies at University College London. Heliotherapy was extremely popular from the 19th century, the idea that sun is very healing, um, it's very good for you, there were lots of um, sun uh, lamps available that you could buy and use in your home and there were lots of um, sun uh, healing spas and places where you could go and, and, and get the sun. Um, there was also an idea that you could kill bacteria uh, and in fact ultraviolet light will destroy bacteria such as tuberculosis bacteria. So there were um, ideas that you had to design buildings uh, like tenement blocks where people could actually get as much light as possible. Um, then there's the Finson lamp and this was developed in the 19th century by a, a Danish doctor called Niels Finsen. Uh, Queen Alexandra, who was the, uh, the, the wife of uh, Edward VII uh, of England, she was Danish by birth. She heard about this lamp and she brought the first one back uh, in Britain and that was uh, placed at the London Hospital in 1900. And immediately that, that lamp was available for people. There were people queuing up all around the hospital with, uh, who had tuberculosis of the skin, which is very disfiguring, and this was seen as a lamp of hope. This was brand new technology when people were lighting their homes with candles. There is some evidence that that can work, but of course people who had um, skin tuberculosis often had uh, tuberculosis right through their body. So although you might be um, trying to help the surface area, you couldn't necessarily uh, cure the tuberculosis because it was right the way through the body. We often forget, uh, this is just a hundred years ago, that people with these very disfiguring uh, diseases, these very disfiguring uh, facial uh, diseases, would be uh, walking around the streets and, you know, this was their hope. <laughs>